Salam everyone. Um, our number one question: Why do you stun your animals? So, firstly, just to establish something: stunning is not haram. Uh, no one has uh, given out the fatwa that stunning is haram that I've seen. Um, the majority of meat that's consumed in the country is stunned. Um, you may have an opinion on it, but to make something halal and to make something haram is a very, very, um, you know, this is the the, the realm of the scholars. And f uh, the majority of meat consumed around the world that is halal is stunned. The biggest uh, c um, exporter of uh, halal meat in the world is Brazil. Yeah, it just gives you an idea. It's not Somalia or Egypt or uh, even though Somalia's actually got a massive um, export exporting of meat or Saudi Arabia or some place or it's Australia, Brazil, these big places. And what it is, they have their industries are set up to uh, have a Muslim slaughterman at the end. They are certified. And then that way they can export um, halal meat all over the world. So let's come to the UK now. Let's not focus on the, the international scene. Uh, the UK, we again, is about 92, 90 to 88 to 92% is different statistics I've seen of stunned meat that is uh, halal. Now, I'm not a defender of stunned and I'm not a defender of unstunned. I think both can be applied uh, properly and both can be used in the right way and can bring halal meat to the table um, of uh, the, the, the discerning customer. Um, what we do is we have a combination of all. We actually have some animals that are stunned and some that are unstunned. Now, our HMC certified beef is unstunned. We also do supply some HMC certified unstunned lamb at the same time. But the majority of the products we produce, uh, that we uh, um, uh, source, the majority of the animals that we source are from farmers who actually genuinely care about unstunned and stunned. They have read all the articles and they've made their own decision whether or not it's right or wrong, I've always convinced them that unstunned is not is not bad, but from what they see on the videos and what they see elsewhere, they've made their decisions. So we have to work with them. They're not gonna sell to us or they're not gonna give us good um, animals um, to be stunned, uns uh, to be slaughtered with, in an unstunned way. So this is uh, something that we've had to deal with. We believe we've come to a perfect compromise. Uh, we are when it comes to the slaughter of the chickens we we control the whole um, line and we're in we're, we, we are there to make sure that anything that is doubtful in our minds is taken out we have the power to do so and the, the supplier and the person we work with respects us and gives us the opportunity to be in the slaughterhouse to do so um, with the lambs it's all killed in euro quality lambs which is a famous slaughterhouse all around uh, uk and they are very very qual high quality uh, product and all their slaughtermen are Muslim um, and they do uh, stun slaughter where actually the animal is facing Qibla as well. So uh, with the unstunned slaughter, the animal is facing down, it doesn't actually face Qibla. But with the, uh, with the stun slaughter, the animal spun around and it faces Qibla. So this is another option uh, that we feel is very good. And now for our last um, uh, uh, species, uh, oh, sorry, all of the poultry is all um, from Otter Valley poultry and it's all stunned. Um, and the last um, species that we work with um, is cattle. And we have some HMC certified stuff, but the stun stuff that we're getting now, which is organic, the veal and the um, beef that is labeled organic or Abraham's finest, um, where it gives a description about um, our, our, our meat in there, um, our beef there, that is stunned with a captive bolt stun. Um, and this is due to uh, the legislation in that slaughterhouse and, and also that our farmers will not entertain unstunned slaughter for cattle. I even have a farmer who's very happy to do unstunned slaughter for the lambs, but not for cattle. He believes that it's cruel for cattle. Um, I am in agreement with him. In the slaughterhouse system, it is. Um, in a village where the animal's tied up, laid down on the floor, all its serotonin and, and uh, oxytocin, oxytocin or whatever the, uh, the uh, hormone is called, is released, is different. Um, and also we understand it's a sacrifice and also it's not against the law in this country it's against the law so this is the compromise that we've come to we do believe that um, you know uh, stun slaughter and unstun slaughter can be done in uh, in a good way and the stun slaughter that we've chosen for the beef just so I remember it's actually different to where I've seen before in all sorts of houses normally it's a captive bolt and the animal drops down and then is um, cut the throat is cut and the aorta is cut as well which is the um, the vessel to going towards the the heart um, so the um, the way that we've seen it the, the cow is pushed up like so 
and then um, uh, the captive bolt administer comes from the right, the left hand side, and then the Muslim slaughterman comes from the right hand side, and it's like, dunk, Bismillah, Allah Akbar. That is how quick it is. And um, sorry if my eyes went a bit funny there. I was just checking my my position on my hands, and that for us is halal. I've sought I've sought advice from uh, a farmer who um, was perplexed by the idea of halal only being by the blade. And he explained his situation to uh, a scholar and the scholar um, explained to him, a very high up level scholar in Yemen, explained to him that um, what he was doing was halal and he, he shouldn't be worried. And, you know, this is, I've kind of taken that uh, on board um, and the understanding that the scholars are informed by the professional opinion. And I feel that there's so much murky grey area around slaughter. It's very difficult to get a clear cut thing. So hopefully this will give you some ideas to work with um i have said some controversial stuff today um you know and when i say controversial is that i'm i'm defending stunning captive bolt stunning of cows um but in a certain way um but i also have said stuff that's not controversial 90 percent of the meat that's consumed by muslims is stunned hello and anywhere you go in the world the muslim world you're going to find this uh, so Saudi Arabia will find it there all the meats there Dubai Abu Dhabi. we've got lots of people that, we know that export to all these places so inshallah this gives you some good information um, that can help you make a decision informed decision we are not against HMC certified if you want to stick to the unstunned thing that is totally up to you please do so um, you know uh, but we are trying to provide uh, animals that are uh, come from uh, organic farms um, certifications up and around at the moment we're going to do another video on that um, but yeah, this is what we're trying to do and hopefully it will give you some clarity and I can stop sitting here trying to make this video, which I've done. This is like the fifth, 500th take that I've done now. So, um, take care and any, uh, you know, stuff that you want to ask, put some comments down in the YouTube clip or uh, underneath the YouTube clip or, uh, contact me at sales at Abraham, Abraham organics.com. Um, and also, um, What's the other thing that I need you to do, to do is, yeah, check out your Instagram, uh, our Instagram, which is Mozzie Farmer and the British Muslim Farmer dot com. Yeah, um, it's a combination of Abraham's and my thing that I'm doing on my farm here. So all good. And we'll see you soon.